Prosecutors in the trial of disgraced politician Bozilai have used his own wife to bolster bribery allegations against him, presenting videotape testimony in which she says a businessman gave their family gifts including a French villa, airline tickets and a Segway scooter. Bozilai told the court that his wife had suffered from mental illness as he rejected all charges against him on the second day of his trial on Friday for corruption and abuse of power. Egyptian security and military forces were deployed on Friday around Cairo, closing of traffic in some parts of the city, especially the city centre ahead of protests by supporters of ousted President Mohamed Morsi. The demonstrations come a day after Hosni Mubarak was released from prison and placed under house arrest in a military hospital in southern Cairo, adding to tensions. Although Morsi supporters have not mentioned the release in their calls for protest, some anti-Morsi revolutionary groups plan demonstrations against it. Israeli jets bombed a target south of Beirut a day after rockets were fired from Lebanon into Israel. The Israeli military said that they targeted a terror site near the coastal town of Nameh between Beirut and Sidon. The Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine General Command said one of its bases had been hit. But the group denied any involvement in Thursday's rocket attack into Israel. Neither incident caused casualties or much damage. U.S. President Barack Obama has said the alleged use of chemical weapons in Syria in an attack on Wednesday is a big event of grave concern. He said that the U.S. was still seeking confirmation that such weapons were used, but if proved true, the situation would require America's attention. U.N. General Secretary Ban Ki-moon has also said that it was just a matter of time before the international body would step into Syrian crisis. Meanwhile, Syria's main ally, Russia, has urged it to allow a United Nations team to investigate the allegations. Activists say hundreds died in the alleged chemical attack near Damascus. Japan's nuclear watchdog has said the crippled Fukushima nuclear plant is facing a new emergency caused by a buildup of radioactive groundwater. The Nuclear Regulatory Authority says a barrier built to prevent that water reaching the ocean has already been breached, while tanks built to contain it are nearly full.